welcome back to another video this is how I warm up I always usually start off with some gentle neck rolls dropping my chin to my chest taking my right ear to my right shoulder dropping the chin back through taking my left ear over to my left shoulder after repeating this movement for about three to four times on each side, I'll then take a full neck roll all the way around. The key here is making sure that you don't feel any crunching when the head goes back or anything sharp or electric. All right, let's get into these arms for obvious reasons because we use our arms a lot in pole. So this is my tricep stretch here and I like to rock my hips from side to side just to start warming up my lower body being that we're about to get into the legs. So here I'm just bringing the arm across the chest, stretching out my shoulder and circling my wrist. Then I'll bring the hand around the back. I'm grabbing my hand with my opposite hand just to give a gentle pull, I'll drop the left ear down to the left shoulder. And this just gives an extra stretch on the right side body. And once you're done with that, you're just going to inhale both hands up and repeat everything on the opposite side. So wrist circles are one of my favorite exercises to do, it feels really good on the wrist and the hands. And I'm just circling my hands as I'm raising my arms up and down. And I like to do this anywhere from about 8 to 10 times or either 5 to 7 times. Alrighty, so let's prepare our hands for gripping. So this move here, you're basically just taking your fingers and flicking them like you're flicking water off of your hands. Alright, so let's combine arms and legs. So you're going to inhale both arms up. Exhale down with a flat back. Squatting. Inhale, lift the hips, both hands up. Exhale, forward fold and squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold and squat. And you're just going to repeat this for about five to six times or however many times your body will allow. Back then, and you know how it goes when I see you again. You know I'm making my way to your ends, and you know I need you to be there for me. So your legs should be nice and warm after doing that. Now let's stretch the legs out. I just walk my hands over to one foot, and I just take my nose to my knee, and I'll hold this for a few seconds, and then I'll repeat on the other side. Okay, so I have a love-hate relationship with this particular exercise. It definitely works in regards to building up your booty and getting your legs nice and strong for pole but baby these exercises will have your legs and glutes burning so right here I'm just giving myself a good psoas stretch this is equivalent to doing a pigeon pose instead of being on the floor I am in a standing position and of course, make sure you are always doing everything on both sides. This will make you overall a much better polar. Listen, y'all, I was struggling right here at this point. I don't know what it is about the opposite side for me, but once I get to it, everything just burns so much more. Yo, I'm making a change today. All right, so let's begin to make our way down to the floor. Here I'm just doing a low squat and rocking my hips from side to side. 
And then I'm going to straighten and extend my leg as I rock the hips from side to side. Now, if this is too much on your knees, you can omit this portion altogether and just sit down on your butt and come into a full straddle stretch for a hamstring stretch. Once I'm done stretching out my hamstrings, I'm going to make my way onto my hands and knees. This is also called a tabletop position. And here I'm just going into some cat cows, dropping my chest and rounding my back. After I do that a few times, I then begin to circle out my rib cage. I'm getting my shoulders into it more, my hips, and I'm also warming up my arms here. Make sure you repeat this in the opposite direction. Rocking my hips forward, dropping the hips down first. The chest comes down last. Push the booty up and back, round the spine, drop the hips, drop the chest, push the booty up and back. So this is another way to continue warming up your spine and arms here. Let's reverse that movement. Lift the chest first and the hips, pushing them back. Bring the head and chest back down through the hands, coming onto your belly. Repeating this a few times. So when you've had enough, just take a child's pose and catch your breath for a minute. I was trying to stretch everything out with a down dog, but my feet were sliding so bad with me having socks on and no mat underneath me. So if you are doing a down dog, just make sure that you have something underneath you that your feet actually grip to. All right, so if you've made it this far into your warm up, I promise you are more than halfway done. It's now time for some light flexibility training. I'm basically just rocking back and forth between a low lunge and a runner's lunge. And adding these moves into my warm ups really helped me to get closer to my splits. And once you're able to do a split, it's like you automatically unlock having access to be able to do certain moves. So I highly recommend adding this little flow sequence into your warm up. In the bottle, your time, huh? And of course, we are going to do everything on the opposite side because we are training good habits. Okay, let's prep these abs. One of the main body parts that we use in pole. Okay, now I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Any type of core exercise is a real challenge for me. Ever since I had twins, ab work just hits different. So if these exercises are really challenging and hard for you, just give yourself grace and know that over time your core will become stronger. Now I like to practice these bicycles with a soft bend in the knees. We have a move in pole that's called a leg wave and it just looks so much prettier when you have a soft bend in the knees. So here I'm just stretching everything out with the happy baby pose, rocking from side to side, and I'm going to extend both legs, coming into a full reclined straddle, getting into those hamstrings and those inner thigh muscles once again.
So for whatever reason, I like to set my abs on fire to finish up my warm up. And I do this by doing some toe taps. As you can see, my head and chest is lifted and I'm just reaching down, tapping the sides of my feet. The closer you get to your toes, the more your abs are going to burn. I'm not really sure what to call this move here, but you can just look and see what I'm doing. I did this in a pole class that I took not too long ago and I loved it and hated it at the same time because again, it set my abs on fire. So yeah, just watch the video and see my technique how I'm doing this. I will say if you are postpartum, I would not recommend doing this particular move or anything that is similar to crunchies. If you do want a video on ab exercises that are more fit for postpartum bodies, then just comment down below. I'd be more than happy to put together a video for you. This particular move right here that you're seeing when I'm in this tabletop position, and I'm just letting my knees hover over the floor. This is a great exercise to do if you are a postpartum. Again, if you want a full video on that, just comment down below and I'd be more than happy to put that together for you. All right, so that wraps up my warm up. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If it offered you any value, then don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And connect with me on TikTok and Instagram at Speedy Mini. Until next time, happy polling, everyone. I know you want, I know you want to, girl, girl, I know you want.